Hey there, Brian here. I wanted to do a uh, construction video on uh, the small rig, uh, how to put it together. And uh, it, 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 there's certainly a learning curve with it, but uh, it, it's very easy in terms of tools and, 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 and it's, it's really self-explanatory. So let's get into it. So this is the small rig. Uh, hopefully you've watched my unboxing video, so you'll know a little bit more about it, but uh, we'll go over some of the things anyway as we try and put this thing together. I uh, had hoped that this would make me a better YouTuber. In reality, the, uh, <laughs> the way to become a better YouTuber is to make YouTube videos with whatever it is you've got. And, and I don't care if that's you holding your, your phone in your hand, which I have done a lot of, uh, or or whatever, but uh, this will not make you a better YouTuber if you don't have the diligence to do it, and I don't. But uh, anyway, so this is uh, so amazingly well built, I think, and and very well thought out, and uh, just made out of some really good quality uh, construction. And, and very versatile for uh, uh, what it can do. So let's see, there's the base. And uh, this is the uh, lighting uh, doohickey. I'm sure there's some more. There is a more uh, technical term for it in the, uh, in, the, in the videography world than doohickey, but that's what I'm gonna call it, the lighting doohickey. It's, uh, the, the nice thing about it is, uh, you can adjust that lighting just by spinning this dial and uh, you can you can brighten it or you can darken it and uh that's really very handy there's the uh microphone i'm gonna take that off and show you it's really a kind of a small microphone but uh i, I think it'll be adequate a lot of the videos uh, uh that i've seen uh say that it's uh, pretty good these uh are the uh, handles that go on either side of the, I think they call it the boom. I don't know. What do I know? Nothing. I know nothing. I know how to make glass hummingbirds. That's about it. So I think it's that's it from that side. And from this side, we have the actual frame. And, and again, that is super quality. There's no give to it when I'm, when I'm tweaking it here. Uh, it, it just uh, super super quality. So we're gonna lay that aside, and then this is the um, again they'll call this something, but it's it's the uh, little uh, floppy uh, thingy that connects to the top that holds the microphone. <laughs> so uh, to to help uh, with with noise reduction and that kind of thing. This is actually a um, this brackets on the back of the the thing as we'll see and it can hold a spare battery to charge your phone and devices as as need be if you're really out there doing videos and then this box is full of all sorts of goodies i think we've emptied that so we don't need anything else out of it we're going to set it over here and we're going to get into this box it's just chock full of things And just when you think you've gotten it all out, there's more. Oh, the dead cat doesn't want to come out. I have three cats that say dead cat is not a good thing. Let's throw that box over there. So there's your pile of goodies that you get in this. Uh, forgive me for hitting the camera stand. And, um, and it looks like kind of a daunting sort of project. But uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. As Again, I'm a neophyte. I've never done any of this. So for me, this is all new. But uh, I'm going to try and figure it out. The one thing I can say, let me get the instructions real quick and show those to you. 
so if if I had a complaint about this, it's that the instructions are not really explanatory. Um, I mean, it has installing tips, but um, it, it doesn't it doesn't show you where. This is not a <laughs> as as most of us would probably like a a uh, pictogram uh, instruction booklet. It, it is not that so. Um, and, and it doesn't cover really how to very well. But YouTube's full of uh, people that have done it. And uh, hopefully this video will help you also do it. And uh, where shall we begin? Well, let's take things out of plastic bags first, shall we? Because then we know what we're working with. There's lots of little parts and pieces. And... It's amazing how much stuff was crammed into that little black box. And some of this stuff you won't be using, depending on what kind of phone you have. It, you can either use it with Android phones, or you can use it with iPhones. And so some of this is just for iPhones, and some of this is just for Android phones. This is the dead cat. I, I understand they call it a dead cat because it looks like a dead cat. But it's designed to help you have better audio in uh, outside in, in noisy places or or that kind of thing and then the, the two allen wrenches now interestingly enough so there's a couple allen wrenches that you'll need when i was watching videos one person complained that they that small rig had not sent them all of the tools that they needed to put this thing together that they had left out two Allen wrenches, and, and they thought that was pretty chintzy of them, and uh, really sort of lambasted them in the video. And I don't know that, you know, they, they had Allen wrenches, so they were able to to take care of it themselves. But anyway, that was a thing, and, and I would be upset with that too. And sure enough, when I got my kit, I found these two Allen wrenches, and they didn't work on, on uh, at least one thing. And I thought, what are the odds that they left the Allen wrenches out of my set like they left the Allen wrenches out of his set? And I thought, oh no, there's something I'm missing here. And and then I remembered, in, in these handles, there's a magnetic little uh, pocket that holds these two Allen wrenches that you need. These other Allen wrenches are not necessary for the build uh, when you're on the go. Uh, these, though, are. And if you want to change things up. So they're in there with magnet, and they don't come out. So anyway, the Allen wrenches are there. If you order one, remember that there are two Allen wrenches in these handles, and they, they slide out easy enough. So let's see. I guess we should start by building this little thing here and how does that work you see i'm just not well versed in this stuff at all so i'm guessing that this goes here what do you bet i guess i should do this in the in the camera view So that will connect that to that. And if we want to tighten that, we can do that. So that goes on there like that. And let's go ahead and tighten that on there. It's handy that they give you all the necessary tools. And we'll tighten that down. Whoops. Would help if I made it even. I think that's probably an important thing. But what do I know? I'm a glass blower, not a cinematographer, right? Okay. So that's on there pretty well. That's not what I'm wanting. 
Where's the part that I'm wanting? Or is that what I'm wanting? That might be what I'm wanting. No, that's not what I'm wanting. Silly me. Okay, so we've got that on there. So then this can just slip into this. And that's, so that's the bracket that holds it onto the tripod. And then you can just tighten this. And that holds it on that pivot ball there. And there's even a, a built-in leveler here. Um, I'm, that's beyond my pay grade. So I'm not sure how to use that, uh, but I'll figure this out. And then you can tighten that ball there so that it doesn't move so much. And it really is handy. You can tighten this one so that it doesn't twist so much. So we're going to do that while we work on it. I'm going to move this out here so you can see it a little better. So now we've got the basic setup here. And that's what it will look like um, from the front. So this would be the part that faces away from you. And this would be the part that faces you more or less. Let's release that ball just a little bit and pivot that thing back so we can see it a little better. I don't know my own strength. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're going to tighten that down. And we're going to tighten that one down. So there we have it on the on the mount. Pretty secure. So let's uh, add these little arms to it. And they just simply screw in. Of course, the 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 part that has the wrenches goes towards the bottom, and these will screw in here. And then this one will screw in here. Now you can adjust all of these things because on this rig, it has so many different holes that you can really customize it to whatever your needs are. This will probably primarily be my need, but you could attach it here on these sides and then use it like you would a cell phone vertical. But for YouTube, this is, this is better. Uh, for TikTok and other things, maybe this, this is better, but it's got holes all the way around. So you can customize this however you want, which I think is great. Now to tighten those up, I just slip that little thing in there and tighten them up and slip that in there and tighten them up. Let's do that one here. That one wasn't this. Well, I'm loosening it, right? Lefty, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. I think I'd remember that. So there we go. And those have it. Let's tighten this one up a little bit more. <laughs> Didn't we just go through this? Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. Oh, as you can see, I am not a mechanic. I am not. Come on, Brian. This is one of the things that I don't like about making YouTube videos. I make fool of myself for the whole world to see. Okay. They're on there good and tight. They're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to drop this. This makes panning and, and that kind of thing easier. It's easier to hold the phone steady as opposed with the one-handed shakiness. Um, so we've got those on there. Now we get to decide where we're going to put the rest of it. And, and pretty much we're open to possibilities at this point. You can mount to the top of these if you want. And I think we will mount to... Do I want to mount to that really? Yeah, I guess I really do. Let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, Brian. I lost a screw. I just hadn't emptied it out completely. So there are two screws to mount this. And I know that they have a, a real name for this, but again, I'm a glass blower, not a cinematographer, so I don't know what this is called. 
but it's it's a universal mount. I know that uh, for any kind of camera setups and and different things, you can I can actually I could mount this on my bike if I wanted to. I've got a that kind of setup there, which I may do sometime. We'll see. Anyway, put that right in there and tighten that right down. And I, oh, see, that's the one that you need this for. Voila, how handy is that? And we'll just screw that in there. I don't want to tighten it down because I've got to put this other screw in. And there we go. So easy, even I could do it. And that's pretty easy, my friends. That's pretty easy. Because I am not mechanically inclined. These are not things that I particularly like to do. So, there we have that in there. And then, this just slides in there. And you can turn this wheel to tighten this down to that bracket. And voila, it is in there, it's not going to go anywhere, it's going to stay there, and it's good and tight. So how great is that? You know, let's turn this around. Well, there we go. So you can see how that fits. And now, let's do this Dumaflachi. We're going to put this Dumaflachi, the little mic holder over here, whatever its official name is. Uh, the boom bracket, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I'm sure someone knows, and you'll tell me in the comments. I know that YouTube can be quite ferocious in the comments sometimes. So you just screw that in there. You just slide that into that little bracket. You, I could have easily put it on this side, or I could add something else that goes over here. You know, who knows? This is one of the beautiful things about this is that it's so versatile. You can do just about anything you want with it. So here's the microphone. And you can see it has this little indention. And that's designed to, to fit in here. And so I always put my finger, or I put my finger underneath there, and push that down in. And now that keeps that uh, um, steady and, 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 and helps in reducing... Uh, sound challenges. Now this is um, yeah, facing you, the, the person taking the videos. Okay, This is the extra uh, battery pack that can go in here and I think that that goes on the back here. Yes, I think that's where that goes on the back. And these two screws should accomplish that goal, I believe. Let's see. It must come out of there. Oh, that's this one. Yeah, I'm doing that the wrong direction, aren't I? Yeah. So, you can mount this either vertically to hold it like this, or horizontally to hold the battery pack up like this. So, um, depending on how, I assume, how the your phone's camera is, is uh, would be less, it would be less obtrusive to it. So... For the sake of this video, I'm just going to mount it like this. And we're going to find those holes. And slide that right in there. No, I'm not. I'm going to mount it like this. That doesn't make my OCD happy, so this will make my OCD happy. That might not mean much to you, but it's all the world to me. Obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, Lordy. So now we're going to find the hole there. You know, I might have 
put that in the wrong hole. Let's see. I did, I did. Okay, we'll do this again. You see, I'm not an engineer. I'm not even an armchair engineer. So I hope that you see, if I can do this, I hope you feel like you can do it. Because I really am not uh, mechanically inclined. And then you just screw that in there. And we're going to tighten that just a little bit. Yeah. So, something like that. Anyway. And then that will hold your hold your battery. That's also a nice thing about this, this, this pivot. This is really a very smooth pivot um, to, do, to do those kinds of shots. Now, these devices that come with it are one is for the Apple and one is for the Android. And so this is obviously for the Apple. So I won't need that, but it's handy for those who have that. And the red cord will be for that. And then this is for the Android. And since that's what I have, this is a USB-C. So if you have something other than the USB-C that you're using, you're going to have to get a little adapter or some such something, I suppose. And um, so where's my phone? There's my phone. It's easy to put your phone in and out of it. You just turn this screw right here. Turn the screw and it opens it. Now this is an LG V60. So it's quite a large phone and it's in a uh, an OtterBox case. So that makes it even that much uh, larger. And I want to position it where it's not going to hit those buttons. And voila. And you just screw that down on it and it holds that phone secure. It's not coming out of there at all. And, um, and, and so that's what, and as you can see, this is a larger phone. It takes up a lot of the space of that, of the boom itself. And um, so, I'll see if, uh, well, I don't, need to, I don't need to start the phone anyway. So then this plugs into that into my USB-C port right there and there it goes and then this will plug into that and this plugs in to the back of the microphone and it just let's pull it out of there so you can see it just a little bit there goes into there and you just give it a good snug and then put that back in that dumaflachi that thingamajig um, and it's got uh, two cable organizers that you can wrap around your cables because if you get your phone and if you're if you're charging your phone also from here from that battery pack it comes with another USB-C cable well, yeah, comes with another USB uh, C cable and USB and to, to charge with your battery pack. So, and that will plug into here. And so you'll be charging your phone while you're taking videos. And I think that's great um, because, you know, even this has a, a pretty big battery in it. And, and the newer phones always have, you know, usually really big batteries in them but you, you run out in a short span of time. So that's the rig. Um, and uh, the, so this does not telescope. Uh, you can, well, I'm sorry, I'm hitting that camera thingy. That, that camera thingy is called the tripod. I'm hitting the tripod. Anyway, um, it doesn't, this doesn't have a telescoping device on it, but it does, it can go handheld. You can close this down. And those are really substantial. And they've got these rubber tips on it so it doesn't slip. And then you've got a handheld unit, you know, where you can do selfie shots and, and uh, 
you know, take talking videos and stuff and then switch the screens and, and stuff. So this is really a substantial unit and it's, it's sturdy. It's going to last you, uh, for a long time. Hopefully, uh, it will, you know, the way I would use it, which is almost never because I don't make YouTube videos, do I? Not often. Uh, anyway, this, this video has gone on too long. But that is the small rig, and uh, I'll do some um, uh, videoing with it later, and uh, and we'll test out the audio and the lighting and, and everything else. But that's how you put it together, and it's really pretty simple. You know, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Well, do what you love and love what you do. Life's too short. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks so very much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. That will encourage me to make more. Go out to the world in peace. Have courage. Hold on to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor everyone. Love and serve God rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God.